should probably change yeah. that then, huh? No. I don't, yeah. No, I don't think so. I want uh, someone telling me. I don't want someone telling me. Meanwhile, it looks like you've had like three plastic surgery operations just on your face in order to look young. Meanwhile, you're 28 and you should just be looking young regardless, but you look like you're 34. All right, guys, female degeneracy on display for us to analyze and dissect. And, uh, I would argue that you're more secure when you tell your girl the truth about how she's dressed. And you can tell just by looking at this degenerate woman's face that she's trying to hold back a tirade of anti-male sentiment and disgraceful feminist rhetoric. It's also the face of a woman who is deeply triggered. It's up to the man. Like, if you're in a relationship with a guy, you should respect that guy and dress a certain way when you're not in his presence based on what he allows you to wear. Listen. Every aspect of that sentence triggers a degenerate woman um, for multiple reasons. The first being that objective standards, even when conceptually analyzed, results in an environment that is untenable to the feminist psyche. Objectivity results in the disintegration of left-wing presuppositions. This means that when women are reminded that reality exists, they construe that as oppression. This is why I'm not dating. <laughs> oh, I don't know where I would This is why I'm not dating. <laughs> Did you hear that laugh, bro? Listen to that. What? With a guy, you should respect that guy and dress a certain way when you're not in his presence based on what he allows you to wear. This is why I'm not dating. <laughs> oh, I don't know where <laughs> this is why I'm not dating. <laughs> I can't submit to an objective reality because if it judges me because then I'd be held accountable and all the things that I think are I think and tell myself would be deconstructed and disintegrated under the weight and scrutiny of objective parameters. <laughs> Masculinity is oppression. <laughs> Sadiqa just asked her, wait, how old are you? Again. Notice the degenerate Western female is trying to live outside of reality. There's a biological time clock on her body. She won't be able to have kids after a certain point. She doesn't want objective masculine standards to apply to her. She doesn't want the biological clock to apply to her. Her genetic code will do what she tells it to say because she's a boss queen. Yeah, you should probably change yeah. that then, huh? No. no. Oh, I don't, no, I don't think so. I want someone telling me. I don't want someone telling me. Meanwhile, it looks like you've had like three plastic surgery operations just on your face in order to look young. Meanwhile, you're 28 and you should just be looking young regardless, but you look like you're 34. What to do? I hate being. I hate being told what to do. Oh my God. I think that standards are oppressive. Micromanaged. Like if. I hate to be micromanaged. Like a guy tells me not to be a slut outside. I, I just, it makes me want to download OnlyFans. Oh my God. If I, I don't want to be with a guy who's going to be like, you can't wear that. Like, I don't want to be with a guy that protects my uh, chastity by keeping me high value and taking care of me. That would just be like a, a nightmare because my uh, college professor uh, told me that in my gender studies class. Also, she was obese and thought that calories didn't exist. Yeah. I can go out and wear whatever I want. I don't have anyone telling me what, what I can do. What he cares about to... you, that's why he's saying that. He's saying it. I'm a boss queen, dude. <laughs> this is this is the reason. This is this is the consequence of the degenerate feminine ethos infecting so many Western women. Is it separates it separates them from hearing the male perspective and listening to any man in their life that cares about them, and they never come into contact with men because the 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 feminist hive mind says. Everything about men is oppressive. They even say masculinity is toxic. They say the very spirit of being a man is toxic. And women need men. A very sophisticated definition for masculinity is an apparatus that allows you to make sense of the world. So when women are separated from masculinity, when women are separated from men because they're told to demonize men, because they're told masculinity is toxic and men having standards and, and um, operating through the world coherently like men tend to do is considered oppressive, then they never come into contact with coherence and they end up living lives of complete chaos. There's, I want you guys to understand that a woman's mind is complete and utter chaos. She doesn't know, she isn't able to think logically or coherently for more than a second and a half, sometimes even not even for a single second in a row. And the reason for that is because being able to think rationally is like a muscle that you exercise. Men are forced to think rationally in order to exist or you get completely bullied and destroyed by reality. But women aren't expected to adhere to this masculine standard of performance of making sense of things rationally, and that's how you get women like this. Those question for both ladies and gents, Biden or Trump? Uh, okay, what? does anyone here like Biden? How about that? Raise your hands. Neither. No one likes Biden, obviously, but listen to this. Oh, Who said wow. neither? Who said neither? She said neither. What's wrong with Trump? Many things. Name one. It's a mic, please. Everything. Everything. Everything about a hub of an alpha male masculine billionaire is wrong. Oh my god. Capitalism down with the patriarchy. Oh, I create no value and I'm $45,000 in debt this month. No, 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 no. no. Name one. Dude, 
Before people get super triggered, women hold 80% of consumer credit card debt, by the way. They are literally a net negative on the economy. The people that think that the economy is better off with women working, is it's delusional. Feminism wants to cripple not just the family unit, but also the economy. And it's all born of resentment for reality. He's a fucking racist. Huh? What do you say? <laughs> She would say that he's a fucking racist. No, no, no. What do you say? That's racist. The wall. What's racist building about a wall? The wall. Building a wall. Oh my, dude! It, it it is so archetypally fulfilling, bro. It is so archetypally fulfilling. What did I say earlier? Objective masculine parameters. They find it oppressive. That that that, that is an omission. Borders are racist, dude. This is the result of of warfare against women's minds. Feminism has raged warfare against women's minds, and as a result, has ravaged them. You get, you get a degenerate feminist who's going to hit the wall, hates masculinity, hates reality, hates reason, thinks masculinity is toxic, and says that borders are racist. Are you guys connecting the dots with what I said? Radical feminists who hate reality find objective parameters and the mechanisms that reveal truth to be offensive. They find reality to be oppressive. Oh my God, the, the border is so offensive. You have to meet objective standards and criteria to get through it. That means, that means, that means oppression. Do you guys realize that if society was feminized in accordance with the feminine ethos, that all forms of truth would be demonized and perverted? Any form of objective truth would be perverted and thinking would become impossible. Thinking objectively would become oppressive. You're, you're literally seeing, you're, you're, you're seeing an embodiment of that here. Feminism creates destroyed embodiments of hating reality. Did you hear what she said? Chat's going crazy. Uh, where, where, do you, where do you she find women like this? And then, you know, you think that, but then the answer is a large percentage of Western women have brains that are this destroyed. What's wrong with Trump? Many things. Name one. It's a mic, please. Every Look at her face. She's not able to think, bro. Thing. Every. Everything, everything is wrong with him. I can't think at all. Thing, no, 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 no. Name one. He's a fucking racist. He's racist is the first thing that comes to mind whenever, oh my God, uh, orange man bad, quickly call him racist. Sis. What huh? do you say that's, no, 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 what do you say that's racist? The wall? What's racist Building about a wall? Building the wall? Building a wall is racist? Co like, no. The border is racist. It operates on objective parameters. We must demonize it as oppressive because that is a, a reminder that masculinity exists. Not wanting Im like immigrants to be able to survive here. I have so many friends. Having a border means you don't want immigrants to survive, by the way. Think, of, think about that. We want legal immigration and only for the best immigrants to come in to enrich our country and our culture and so that our country can flourish. That's literally racist. You want immigrants to die. That's that's level of mental incoherence that they operate at. Think of what it's like to live as her, walking walking through reality. sees sees that the sky is blue. Oh my gosh, it's orange because the fact that it's blue reminds me that I'm wrong. Oh my god, you can't fathom the level of cognitive dissonance that they operate at. I mean, his policies on immigration. Yeah. This this is why this is why they look so bad because you can't find someone on the right that is like this. You can't find someone on the right that just says. That, that says things that are so obviously out of congruence with reality that it is, that it, that it's comedy, or that it's it's ultra cringe. Uh, like which one? Like he makes it difficult for immigrants to be able to live here. That's not racist. That's having a strong border. <laughs> that racist is discriminating races. Like having a strong border has nothing to do with the color of your skin. I mean, <sighs> she's too stupid to understand ideas. You guys understand what's going on in her, in her head. She's not connecting thoughts with logic or reason or objectivity. She's connecting them with a matrices of resentment that operates on how can I be a victim to garner counterfeit virtue?